my channel. Oh my goodness, another video. Just need to do a happy dance because, yeah, I literally just decided I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Welcome to my channel, guys. My name is Twapewa. Gonna put it right down here. If this is your first time joining me, you're welcome. If this is your second, third time, I don't know. If you're rewatching my videos, great. All the more, you're welcome. Stay tuned. I will be talking about the meaning behind the channel name, Mercy Said No. I'm gonna put it somewhere here, or here, wherever I feel like putting it, basically. Um, let's get into it. So Mercy Said No. Why did I choose the name Mercy Said No? As you all know, this is a Christian-based channel. It is a Christian-built channel. Um, and when I was thinking of what to call my channel, I didn't want to over-romanticize it. But for that time, as I was thinking about what to call this channel, the song Mercy Said No by C.C. Winans kept on playing in my head. Like, it just kept on playing and playing and playing. And I was like, you know what? Let me let me listen to that song again. And I'm going to put the lyrics down in the description box so you can see for yourself what the song is saying, what, it, what the song actually means. But really, um, the meaning of the song itself, as Cece sings it, is that, you know, she was headed down a destructive road. She was headed to hell. She was headed for darkness. She was in darkness, in sin, and the enemy was trying to keep her there. Okay? So keep in mind that the minute that you are born, you were born into sinful nature because ultimately of Adam and Eve, sin entered this world. And when you were born, you were born with a sinful nature. Um, you don't have to teach a child how to lie. That child will know how to lie. You don't have to teach a child how to conceal things, how to pretend, how to break things, um, how to deceive. This child knows. And why is that? Because nobody is good. Nobody is born good. Nobody has any form of goodness in them whatsoever. So, if you begin with that in mind, we are all headed for destruction. We were all headed for destruction. And God had a plan. God has a plan. If you are not saved, God has a plan for your life. If you are saved, God's plan is being fulfilled in your life as we speak. And what is that plan? To save us all from the raging fire of hell. To save us from doom. He actually stepped in, gave us his only son, Jesus Christ, who is sinless. The Lamb of God who washes away the sins of the world. He takes our sins away the minute you choose to trust him. I was that girl. I was this girl headed for destruction, surrounded by darkness, making wrong decision after wrong decision. Ultimately, I should have been dead. That's the truth. And that's the fact. But God has a plan. God had a plan for my life. Because of his mercies, I am not consumed. Because of his mercies, he chose to intervene for me and for you when he gave up his only son, who is the ultimate sacrifice for all so that our sins may be forgiven. You might be thinking about your life and wondering, why? Like, why God? You've saved me in this situation. You've saved my life in this situation. I was supposed to be dead, but you saved me. 
God has a plan and he wants to save your soul. Ultimately, there is a war over your soul where darkness and light are fighting over you. But guess what? The winning side is Jesus Christ. All you have to do is put your trust and faith in him today and repent, turn from your ways because we don't know better. You don't know better. I don't know better. Look at your life. The evidence is before you. Mercy Said No is a channel dedicated to calling out the heart of believers, calling out the hearts of those that are headed towards destruction, calling them back into God's arms. It is not me. It is simply God doing his thing on this channel, calling his kids back. Come back to your first love. If you are a believer and you haven't had quiet time in forever, you can remember the last time you sat with your heavenly father. You can't remember the last time you prayed so deeply to him, cried out to him. This is the place for you. Mercy said no is not a place where we are egotistical, where we are judgmental, where we are trying to seem like everything we're doing is right, better than other people. Mercy said no is a description of a God who decided to act, to have mercy on us. It is not something you earn. It is not something you can better yourself towards. It is not something you can get in a self-help book. It's not something you can do on a checklist. You are not perfect. You don't need to pretend you're perfect. You are full of faults. You are full of sins. You are full of, I don't know, as, as the world calls it today, negativity, negative thinking. We're all full of it. The only light we have is Jesus Christ. And he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me or but by me. What does this mean? Guys, I'm sure you've tried to get right in your life through your academics, through your popularity. I'm sure you've tried to feel worthy of love in one way or another by always looking right, always acting right. But guess what? You are trying to impress people who are imperfect and who will fail you. You are trying to earn love by working really hard to earn enough money in your life. But money will always fail you. We've seen the economy. You can't count on it. You can't count on people. To actually place your trust in another human being is a trap. Who do we trust? Where do we go? And when I hear Mercy said no, I just hear God saying, I will intervene. I I'm the one who is going to save you. Not me, God. He's the one that's going to save you. He's the one you need to trust today. Let me pray. <sighs> Let me say a prayer. <sighs> Daddy, I love you. I thank you so much that you're able to bring me in this situation where I'm able to say that I love you. It's not because I'm worthy. It's not because I've earned it. It's not because I deserve it. It's not because I'm perfect. But it's because of your mercy and your love that I'm able to do that today. I pray over each and every person watching, Lord Jesus, that you will reveal to them you have called them out of darkness into the light. Your son, Jesus, is the light of this world. And they can do absolutely nothing to earn your love. But put their trust and faith in Jesus Christ to be saved. 
I pray for each and every person, Lord, who has doubts, who is frustrated in life, who is exhausted, who is depressed, who is clueless, who is lost, those that have no idea what's going on, that they realize they've only got to do one thing, and that is to trust in the work of the cross, Jesus Christ dying once and for all, that their sins are forgiven once they put their trust and faith in Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for your grace and your mercy that we cannot do anything to earn your love. We cannot do anything to be saved from darkness, from hell, Lord Jesus, I pray that you completely fill their hearts with your love, Lord. Where they may feel empty and alone, allow them to realize, Holy Spirit, reveal the truth. And Lord, you're nothing without you. You are the everlasting God, the living God. Pray all this in your mighty name, Jesus Christ. Amen. You're thinking, does God actually love me? After everything I've done, does He really love me? The answer is, yes, He does. How could a God so perfect, how could a God love you? How could God who is all sufficient, love you, an imperfect human being who makes mistakes every second, every minute, who is sinful. He's a perfect God. The Bible says that we are saved by grace through faith. It is not of our works, so that men may not boast. It is because God decided to have mercy on you. It is because he decided to save you. God loves you. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that no man may perish. Replace that word, world, with your name. For God so loved Selma, for God so loved Lucia, for God so loved Papela that he gave his one and only begotten son, that Papela may believe in him, that she shall not perish, but have everlasting life. If there is one thing you need to go away with from this video, it is that even if you were the last one on earth, even if you were the only one on earth, God would still give his only son for you. To die for you. Because he loves you. The word says that while we were dead in our transgressions, Christ died for us. It is not because we are perfect. It is not because anybody is perfect. They are saved. It is because they are perishing. It is because they are sick. It is because we are sinners and we are imperfect. If you know you're a sinner, then you know that Christ died for you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, if you would like to see more of these videos, Please like this video, comment down below um, any questions that you have. I will be addressing those questions or I will try my best to address those questions in the weeks and the months that follow. Subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you will know when a video is up and yeah. God bless you. Mwah.